What's up guys, it's Chellers, and welcome back to another episode of NHL 19 Franchise Mode with your Boston Bruins. In the last episode, we went through the round number two and the year one playoffs against the Toronto Maple Leafs, and ended up beating them in four games in a good old-fashioned sweep. And in today's episode, we'll be going through the third round, or the Eastern Conference Finals, against the Columbus Blue Jackets. <clears throat> so, before we look through Columbus's team, we'll actually have to do a little contract extension to one of our players. And as you can see through our players that want extensions, almost all of them, besides uh, Anders Lee, want extensions. Now, I want to give the extension to Brandon Carlo. <clears throat> he wants uh, a three-year deal at $4 million around, so we'll give him a two-year deal. Since uh, most of our contracts expire after in two years, I will, I'll give Carlo a two-year deal, then probably lock him up for like four or five years, depending on how much he's grown. So since now he only wants $3.65 million, I could give him about like uh, 3.1 million, let's say, and he should accept it. I'll do like 3.15, uh, or 3. Point, let's try 3.125. All right, let's try this and see if he accepts it. And now we'll look at Columbus's team, and uh, we'll see how we match up against them. So, uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. All right, so their first line they have Artemi Panarin, Matt Shane, and. Cam Atkinson, 88, 86, 85. So our first line is 290s and Bergeron and Marshawn and 85 Eberle. So we have the advantage right there. Second line, 83 Dezingle, 84 Wenberg, 82 Foligno. We have an 85 Krejci, 89 Pasta, and 82 DeBrusque, I believe. So that's we have a better advantage on the second line. Now our third line is pretty good because they have an 87 Dubois. Uh, but they have a 282 uh, Wingers in Anderson and Bjorkstrand. So... Compared to us, we do have um, we have Charlie Cole 83, we have Anders Lee 84, and then 83 Marcus Johansson. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry. So, it's pretty, they have like a slight advantage because in 87, but we have better wingers in them. And four lines, it goes to them because they have two 80s and, and an 81 in Dubinsky, Jano, and Milano. We just have an 81 um, Dazen Heinen, and I believe it's a 77 and 78 Corrali Nordstrom. Not hundred percent sure. <clears throat> On defense, Zach Wierenski eighty eight, Seth Jones eighty seven. So pretty pretty solid first pairing. We have uh, an eighty five Krug and an eighty five Charlie McAvoy, so they have an advantage in that first pairing. Second pairing, however, we have an eighty five uh, Chara and eighty two Carlo. They have an eighty four Murray, eighty two Nurivara. So we have the advantage there. And then third pairing, Adam McQuaid, the former Bruin, and D David Savard, 18 82. They have an advantage there also. We have two 80s in Grizzly and Kevin Miller. So overall, I say offense goes to us. Defense is slightly... Defense goes to them. Not even just goes to them. And then in goaltending, they have Bobrovsky, I believe. You have 90 overall Bobrovsky. Same thing as Rast, 90 overall. And I believe even Yarrow is 83 overall, like in Cade. So <clears throat> pretty, uh, pretty even. So this should be a pretty close game. Uh, we're probably going to end up going to like six or seven games is my prediction. And the winner of this will be facing the winner of Colorado and Nashville, as you just saw. So we do have home advantage throughout the whole rest of the playoffs. So let's go for game number one. We're in Boston. Let's see how this turns out, right? So first period, uh, we get on the board. Jordan Ebley scores on Bobrovsky. Beautiful. Second period. Okay, so the breast scores, but then Wierenski and Bjorkstrand answer right back. Bjorkstrand with a minute 34 left. So we're tied at two. All right. We're getting outshot 16, 19 to 16. So let's try and get an early goal here from our first line. Maybe Bergeron or Marshall. 15 minute, uh, 14 minutes left. Let's see what happens. There we go. Sean Crowley on our fourth line at left wing, I believe. Scores with 10 minutes left to go now. Power play for Columbus. Can we kill this off? Yes, we do. All right. Five minutes left. Let's hold this lead. We're in outshot 32 to 21. Another power play for Boston. Come on, can we score? No, one minute left. And Columbus scores with 10 seconds left to bring us to, to bring them to overtime from from a uh, which one is from a bad angle goal? No, we scored the bad angle goal to Corrali. They scored from a pretty bad angle goal, but not as bad as us. And we're heading to overtime <clears throat> for the first time of the. Conference finals. So here we go. We're in overtime. Probably for Columbus. Can we kill this off? Yes, we do. All right. We're getting outshot 36 to 26. The score a goal. Come on. Uh, 10 minutes left. We're sending to shoot a bit more now. Come on. We're going to get one goal. Come on. Our first line. Bergeron Marshall. We need passing and score a goal. And there you go. Patrice Bergeron gets the overtime winner. All right. Beautiful. That's what we wanted to see. So we win the first game 4 3. The offense was there. Ross had a great performance 40 saves, 930 save percentage. Bergeron one goal and Eberle one goal one assist. However, we did blow 
we blew a two goal lead, I believe, right? So, <clears throat> and then a one goal lead right after. So we, the Columbus didn't hold the lead the whole game, and they push it to overtime. So we're up by one. Carlos said the contract, beautiful. And we're still in Boston for game number two, all right? Let's try and win this game and stay uh, stay good at home, all right? So first period, all right, we get on the board, David Krejci, but then Dubinsky scores, I believe he's on the fort line on Rask. We're getting outshot 14 to eight, and uh, yeah, all right. So second period, all right, there you go. Marcus Johansson on the third line scores a goal, beautiful. And just like that, we're up by one. We're getting outshot 29 to 14 though, so Rask is playing rather well. Let's get an early goal. We got a two-goal lead. Come on. All right. 14 minutes left. Let's set it at 10 minute mark without conceding. Power play for Boston. Can we score? No. All right. Nine minutes left. But Brad Marchand scores. All right. So even strength is pretty good. Power play for Columbus. We kill it off. All right. Five minutes left with a two-goal lead. I don't see us blowing this, even though they're getting uh, a whole load of shots. Brad Marchand with the anti netter with 22 seconds left. And just like that, Boston goes to... Goes up 2-0 against the Columbus Blue Jackets. And another fantastic performance by Rask. First star, 36 saves, 972 save percentage. Marshawn with two goals and Tori Krug with two assists. So Krug, uh, we get a defensive with points. Perfect. And just like that, we're up 2-0. We're 2-0 at home. Let's get one win over there in Columbus. That's what's important, all right? Uh, central scouting, no, I'll leave it be. All right, let's get one win at the next two in Columbus. That's what's important, all right? Just one. All right, here we go. First period, 0-0. We're out shooting Columbus 16-4. to All right, so we're out playing them a lot. Second period, okay, they come back, 15 shots. So they got uh, 11 shots. We got 10, but they scored two goals. Alex Wenberg and Nick Foligno. Yeah, we're expecting a big bounce back from them, but we're pl uh, still out playing them. But Rossi's playing really solid, though, so let's get an early goal going. Um, 15 minutes left. Come on, we're going to go before the 10-minute mark. That's what's important. There you go. Joachim Nordstrom on the forward line. All right, we just need one more goal now. 10 minutes left, let's get this, let's get this goal, let's get a goal going. Oof. Seven minutes, come on, power play for Boston, let's capitalize. No, four minutes left, have 38 shots, come on. One minute, 23, and no prevail, okay. Okay, it's all right, we expected that, but Brovsky was going to have a bad game every game. He played fantastic, 38 save performance. Felino and Wenberg with the goals, and Norship scored for us, but that's all right. We're going to game number four. We're down by, so we're up by one. And uh, yeah, I said I just need to win one game away. That's what matters most. So we're game number four. We're still away. Let's get an early goal going. All right, first period. All right, there you go. Anders Lee scores in a minute left in the first period. All right, we're out. We're outshooting them fourteen to twelve. Second period, still one nothing. The shots are twenty five to twenty three for Columbus. Still pretty even. Let's see how this turns out. All right, come on. We have fifty minutes. Let's try and get another uh, another goal before. Before they score, and no, Ryan Dezingle scores on the power play, so 10 minutes left. We have a power play. Can we finally score? No, all right, that's okay. Five, five minutes left. We're going to probably head to overtime again, but three minutes left. Come on. Um, 42 seconds. All right, we're into overtime. I do not blame Rask on this. We had only one goal. We only had a one goal lead, and we can't expect Rask to get a shutout like, every time. So, yeah, it's 28 saves. We're going to overtime. Let's get an early goal going. We're out shooting 37 to 30, I believe, and we just scored Brad Marshaw in overtime. So the overtime killer, Brad Marshaw, scores again. That's what, um, two game winners and three wins. So there you go. Rask with a 966 eight percentage. Brosk with a 947. Marshaw with a goal as a third star and two hits. So Marshall's coming alive. He has three goals in four games, I believe. And just like that, we are up 3-1 in the Eastern Conference Finals. Colum uh, Colorado and Nashville are tied at two. So we're heading back home to Boston, and our offense has slowed down. Borowski's playing a lot better. No, just not, we just got to win one game out of these last three, all right? We have three chances to win. We can do this, all right? We're back home. Let's get this done, all right? First period. There you go. Two goals. Danton Heinen on that fourth line and Anders Lee on the, on the third line, all right? So our third and fourth line is playing well. We're out shooting Columbus 15-7, to seven, all right? Second period. Still 2-0. We're out shooting Columbus 24-15 now, okay? Let's see how this goes, right? Um, we are a two-goal lead with 15 minutes left to go. Let's not let a goal before a 10-minute mark, all right? Come on, that's the goal. And just like that, we're past 10 minute mark. We're still up by two. We're playing fantastic. The shots are still going our way. Five minutes left. Can we score one more goal to decide to the dagger? Three minutes, two minutes, one minute, and Felino scores with nine seconds left. Thank God we had a one-goal, we had a two-goal advantage because 
There you go, the, the Boston Bruins have knocked out the Columbus Blue Jackets in five easy games. Two of them in overtime, but you know, we played pretty well. Rask again, 961 save percentage, but Bobrovsky with a 939. So Bobrovsky came alive near the, near the stretch of the um, the series. Honestly, with one goal, I believe it was the game winner. So there you go. Just like that, Columbus has been knocked out. And Boston's advancing to the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time since 2013. Uh, so... Uh, let's see. So Nashville's up three two against Colorado. Let's see how, what happens with Colorado. Um, still three two. Three three. So game number seven is good. More rest for Boston. That's what we want to see. And uh, next game should say we are against the Nashville Predators. So Nashville going back to the Stanley Cup Finals since uh, twenty sixteen, I believe. Right? No, since twenty seventeen. Yeah, twenty seventeen. They lost to Pittsburgh. All right. So. Nashville's making a Stanley Cup appearance again. Uh, it's what twice in 2017, twice in three years. So very good by them. And it's our first appearance in six years, I believe. Right, six or yeah, six years. So very interesting. Nashville has that great defensive core, and I imagine Pecorino is still high high rated. But we'll look at that in the next episode. Let's uh let's look at how our team has been performing. So I'd imagine more balance from our our top guys. So let's see. So yeah, look at that. Anders Lee, Krejci, Eberle, Marshawn, DeBrusque, all have 11 points. Pasta has 10. Bergeron has 9. Uh, Johansson has 8. So our top goal scorer is Anders Lee with 7. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 guys in uh, 11 points. And actually, yeah, look at that. Third line, second line, first line, first line, second line, and then second line. So Bergeron is uh, lacking a bit. Is he still 90? He's still 90. He still has ex exactly lead. So He's just not playing that well. Maybe with uh, if we had a, a different winger instead of Eberle, we'd be doing better. But I'm happy with our whole team scoring goals. That's what we need. We need our whole team to score goals. Look at even Heinen has seven points. Corrali six. Our whole offense is doing really well. Uh, McAvoy has five points. Krug has seven points. Uh, zero goals. Our defense has a total of one goal, right? Krug zero. McAvoy one. Uh, Grizzly, Carlo, zero. Miller, zero. Yeah, two goals. One from Chara, one from McAvoy. So, we could expect a bit more goals from our defense, but it's okay because our goals are coming from our offense. We're not lacking goals that much. Goaltending. Rask is still the Conn Smythe favorite right now for our team. 12-3-0. Two shutouts at a 951 save percentage with a 153 goals against average. Yeah, this is his Conn Smythe to lose right now. I'm going to see how, how Nashville's doing the next episode. But uh, yeah, so far, very good performance by uh, our team. I don't know why it's went on Nashville, that was by accident. But uh, very good performance from our team. We'll look at the playoff tree. And uh, yeah, Nashville ended up winning in seven games. We won in five games. So the most teams it took us to get here was six against Tampa Bay. That was the first round. So six games, four games, and five games. We're going to see what happens with um, Nashville. But for now, we'll end the episode right there. I know it's short, but we're doing one round at a time. So... Yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for some more content, and I'll see you guys soon.